Oh yeah, boy, so cool. On, On fire. fire! To another video, I welcome you, my subscribers. In today's video, we will be making a golden leaf bracelet. This is supposed to be a Greek god themed bracelet. I hope you will enjoy our video. We start off by making our first set of leaves. We will have two sets, one that have gold leaf and one that have glitter to add some contrast to the bracelet. To start off, we pour some resin in a silicone cup. We then add some golden glitter to add some pizzazz. We have some leaf molds that we pour the resin into to create the shape. Once we poured in all the resin, we put it into our resin curing UV box. Once they have been cured, we unmold. Now we are going to make our second set of leaves. For the second set, we attempted to make a gradient effect by adding the colored dye into a clear dye and slightly mixing them. The results actually came out pretty nice. We added two different colors of dye to try to make them look like amber. A very dark orange kind of color. Now we added some gold leaf to our mixture to really add some pop. After incorporating the gold leaf into our mixture very well, we added it to the clear resin and slightly mixed it for the gradient effect.
Once we finished pouring in the leaves, it's now time to cure them. So we put them in our curing box and hit the button. Unmolding was a little tricky because this mold was not designed for resin, but it still worked out anyway. After that, we now have enough pieces to create the bracelet. So now we're going to clean them up with some sandpaper. Alright guys, I'm not going to show you a trick on how to make dust. Dust is one of the most useful, most amazing things you could ever make. You just gotta get some sandpaper, sand down your resin, and there you go, you've got dust. You can put dust on your bookshelf, on your table, you can put dust on your keyboard. You can keep dust anywhere and it'll always just be dust. Isn't that amazing? But making too much dust can sometimes get you sleepy, and then you might fall asleep. Alright, after we cleaned up all of our leaves, we then placed them in the pattern that we want to make the bracelet. Baby Yoda came in and said that we were incompetent and unable to do anything so he decided he wanted to actually drill the holes in the bracelet. Obviously he was right because his holes came out really nice and accurate. After he so precisely drilled the holes, it was time to make and then add the jump ring. The first step in making jump rings is to create a coil. Now, you are really supposed to saw down the center of the coil to create the rings, but I got lazy and just decided to use a pair of flesh cutters. Now, this is not ideal, but it works. Now we link all the leaves together with the jump rings. Once you have linked all of the leaves together, the bracelet is done.
All right, guys, I hope this video was as fun to watch as it was to make. Tell me if you have learned any new techniques or if you got inspired to make something like this yourself. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.